In this video, we'll go over how to access a Flix sequence to either start from scratch or pick up where you left off. When launching Flix, the first thing you'll see is the project browser displaying a list of shows that you're assigned to. To load a show, simply click on its name. For non-episodic shows, this will load the sequence list, which we'll get to in a minute. For an episodic show, this will load the list of episodes. The filter can be used to easily find a specific episode by typing its name. To load an episode, simply click on its name from the list. You now have your sequence list. The filter can be used to easily find a specific sequence by name, description, tracking number, or act. Once again, click on the sequence name you want to access. In this example, we'll use the hotel. For brand new sequences like this one, this next level will notify you that there isn't any existing version just yet. In that case, you'll want to click on the Start a Clean Version button. You can now get started on your sequence by either creating new blank panels using the New Panel button, import existing drawings using the Import button, or flex panels over from your preferred sketching application. As soon as a change has been made, the Save button will be highlighted in red. At this point, you can add a comment and click on it to save the current state of your sequence as a new version. To return to the project browser, simply click on the button in the top left hand corner. Now, you can see the version you just saved along with your comment. You can always edit your comments by using the Edit Comments button and clicking on the Save Comments button once you've made the change. To go back to the Sequence level, click on the Sequence button in the Project Browser. Similarly, if you wanted to go back to the Show level, you could use the Project button. Let's now go ahead and access a sequence that's already in progress, Humanville in that case. This level will display every version that was ever saved for that sequence, with the most recent one being at the top. The filter can help you find a specific version by artist username or keyword using a comment, such as screening, for example. You can now either load a specific version by clicking on it or load the most recent version of the sequence by clicking on the Load Latest Version button. 